Usually on this channel we review electric vehicles, bicycles, scooters, motorcycles, electric cars, new tech, various DIY projects. But today we'll do a completely different video. Hemiway brand hit me up and asked me if I'd like to participate in their long range challenge. It sounded super cool and interesting, but then the distance was from San Francisco all the way down to LA, over 200 miles in range. This invitation raised so many questions. I review so many electric uh, bicycles from Hemiway brand. They have a medium to heavy size fat tire electric bikes. And the newer models have 20 amp hour, over 900 watt hour battery capacity options for their bikes. And usually in a city, it gives you 25 miles to 30 miles in range on the throttle and about 35 to 40 miles with medium assist. So that's definitely not enough for range to cover in one day 80 miles. And that was the requirements. First day 80 miles, second day 50 miles, and last day the remaining distance somewhere four hours from LA to their warehouse where you can drop the bikes. It was for sure a very interesting invitation to ride on the west coast. It should be very beautiful. But I wasn't sure if I'll be able to keep up with this distance or even make it halfway through. So I was very curious to see how well we'll perform. Challenge accepted. So I accepted the challenge on Thursday evening. Friday morning, I packed all my bags and I was ready to go. And later, I was boarding the plane. Friday afternoon, I reached the destination. Also to the evening, right before meeting Himue team, I met with Tanner from Adventures Daily YouTube channel and Mike Feedy. And the entire challenge was split in three days. This is the first part. This is where the fun begins. So I arrived at 4 p.m. at the hotel, uh, met the Himue team, and uh, we did introduction. We talk about each other, our channels, what we do. My name is Mike Feedy. I run a YouTube channel, All Things Cycling. I started as a BMX only channel and kind of transitioned into mountain bikes and electric bikes and now into electric scooters and got introduced to Hemiway and I'm absolutely stoked on it. I cannot wait to unbox these things and really challenge myself on these rides. Uh, I've seen these bikes in action, so kind of getting myself behind the handlebars and really feeling it out is something I look forward to. So I think the biggest challenge would probably be seeing if all of the competitors can actually achieve this distance. I know that I can, because I've achieved this distance before doing different races in my area. Um, 60 miles really isn't that big of a feat for me, but with the elevation and kind of battling uh, maybe the weather elements and stuff like that, it might be something to kind of, kind of keep on, on the back burner of what we really should be worrying about. So I think I'm most stoked about riding the Cobra. I have not had a chance to even see this bike in person, so I'm really excited to see this bike in action as well as seeing other riders and how they react to it as well. So we'll see if this thing can really keep up the distance with this ride. What's going on, you guys? I'm Tanner with Adventure Daily. So I pretty much do anything with two wheels. Dirt bikes are my main thing, but I just happened to get into the e-bike market and I've been loving it so far. Hemiway reached out and I gladly accepted and we're all the way out here in California to do the long range e-bike challenge. I think I'm most excited to ride the Cobra Pro. I've been wanting to get my hands on one, so I'm really looking forward to riding that and putting some miles in. I think we're gonna be doing like 80 to 100 miles on some of these treks, so I'm looking forward to seeing what these things can do and how far we can push them and really show off this new battery technology. I mean, from my experience, these bikes are pretty solid, so I don't think we're gonna have any issues. Um, Cardio-wise, I think it'll be good and rely on the battery most of the time anyway, so we'll see what happens. And uh, after we started talking about the schedule for tomorrow and looking for the bikes, and apparently nobody knew where the bikes are. It took several hours, around 7, 7.30 p.m. we located the bikes, and one person at the front desk actually knew, like, uh, he was like, are you looking for like six big boxes written Himiway on them? And I'm like, yes, we're looking for those for hours. So 7.30 p.m., I think we started the challenge and uh, the first uh, competition between us was assembling the bikes. And the faster uh, person assembles, wins, and uh, chooses which bike to ride for the entire challenge. Each one received two boxes. And you guys know, I assembled a lot of uh, bikes on this channel, so I'm pretty used to that and I'm pretty quick, but we didn't have enough tools. We only had what came in the box and we didn't have scissors and only one knife. And front desk would not give us scissors for safety reasons. So, okay. that thing just to get with you on the airplane and we'll take so much space and people ask like questions. Mm -hmm. But as the visor is so much better, you know, especially now it gets cold. Yeah. Oh, 
it's a pain in the ass to assemble this bike, guys. <laughs> the tools don't fit. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's uh, pretty much everything's here. You just have to like kind of like fill it in, and uh, it's all gonna all gonna work. Uh, let me see. Yeah, this Allen wrench keys, they're, they're, it's good as a set, it's compact and small, so you can carry it in your pocket, which is, you know, portability-wise is awesome, but when you have to get them to the corners, I'd rather have those standard Allen wrench keys that's, you know, easier to, like, go around and do it faster. So that's the only thing. But besides that, uh, it's a simple process. It's pretty much, you know, mount the fender, the tire, adjust the brakes, place the handlebars, Connect the rear rack and it's done, like a couple minutes and you're good to go. Very simple and very easy. All right, welcome back to the races I'm losing. Um, normally I'd win this at my house because in my house I have everything all specced out. I have the drill with the perfect Allen key in the end and I can, I'm like NASCAR. I get this done in 10 minutes, but we are limited right now. I'm probably gonna lose this one, but it's okay. These guys are pretty fun and we're gonna have a fun ride. It was challenging. I'm usually pretty quick and I finish in like five, six minutes. It took me 24 minutes to assemble two bikes and I had the Cobra model, so less fenders and at least uh, four screws less to, to connect. Um, the guys uh, took actually longer than I expected, close to an hour, and I helped uh, Mike, but it was fun, it was good. We talked and uh, we're prepping in the evening. We got all the batteries and these are fresh new batteries. Uh, out of the box so super excited to see what tomorrow will bring and how much we'll be able to cover and uh, physically how uh, I'll be able at 40 years old uh, how well I will keep up and uh, you know uh, keep the distance uh, cover distance with this younger dudes tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock we start from all these bikes I haven't tried the zebra yet I only tried the pro cobra which is my favorite off-road bike but I'll do a base tomorrow on all this new model Bikes are in the room charging. Here's the Cobra, and it's charging now. And we have one battery pack. Each bike has a battery inside that's fully charged. We have another battery here charging, and we have three more batteries here charging. So we're ready for tomorrow, and uh, we have plenty of juice to, you know, just to use the throttle if we need to the first 80 miles. So, guys, stay tuned. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.